for intercultural and multilingual communication and education for the governments of Lower Austria. She's been choreographing many projects for juveniles and has recently been researching in the field of the intermediality of language. The lecture topic she's chosen is up on the screen, Simple Gifts of Cultural Diplomacy in International Relations. Please join me in a very warm welcome for Ms. Tatiana Sehik. Thank you. So good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I feel really very honored to be here. Uh, thank you, Mark. Uh, for this opportunity uh, because it is very important to say that uh, platforms and spaces like this year by ICD are very um, uh, giving as artists uh, much more meaning and uh, it becomes much more weight and important in the politic uh, field because when we stay here and not uh, on the streets like uh, mostly we have um, other uh, attention. So, um, uh, as Mark said, I work at the lower Austrian government since 1992, but today I uh, will uh, just introduce my work, my uh, um, dance project, and to uh, share some gifts of time. So, instead of horses, chimes with moving figures, binoculars, silver built, and dinner services, I have some simple gifts to share. So the first one uh, will be Vienna document, uh, which contains three papers. And it's showing the significance of Vienna for the history of diplomacy. I would allow myself just to name them shortly. So in 1754, the Empress Maria Theresa founded the Oriental Academy to train young men for the diplomatic service of the Habsburg monarchy. Out of the Oriental Academy evolved first the Consular Academy in 1964, the Diplomatic Academy of Vienna, which in 1996 was granted the status of an independent public training institution. The Academy is thus one of the oldest of its kind worldwide. The second document is the Congress of the Great Powers of Europe, met to settle the future boundaries of the continent, which was held from the 1st of November 1814 to the 8th of June 1815 the Congress of Vienna, which could be discussed differently too. And the third document is Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations, done at Vienna on 18 April 1961, which is an international treaty that defines the framework for diplomatic relations between independent countries. It specifies also the privileges of a diplomatic mission. So my second gift um, presents the face of the city of many ones in one. Uh, which means the city of Vienna through its plural society. The number of 545,770 persons, or share of 32% from the number of 1,714,142, which represents the whole population of Vienna, taken from an assessment of residents after migrant results on January 1st, 2011. The largest groups of migrants coming from Serbia, Turkey, Germany, Poland, and Bosnia and Herzegovina. The voices of Vienna are represented through official, regional, and spoken languages. Among official language, which is German, there are several regional languages, like Burgenland, Croatian, Slovene, Hungarian, Czech, Slovak, Romani, and many other languages used by min minorities, like English, French, Albanian, Russian, <laughs> Greek, Arabic, Tagalog, Chinese spoken even by 15,000 Chinese in Vienna. So the spirit of Vienna consists officially 22 religious communities and churches accredited by law. But I, I would say also 1,700,142 also because it is the whole population. And this uh, intercultural life in Vienna is supported by Wien Culture MA7 and BMF UK which is Municipal Department for Intercultural Affairs and Federal Ministry of Education and Arts, and which are the main sponsors of 32 youth centers, several thousands of scientific institutes, and national and international cultural communities. These two institutions are mostly supporting capacity building within the civil society to enhance the in intercultural dialogue with intention to empower mutual understanding. The contemporary political discussion in Austria on multicultural in integration is focused on integration through learning language. 
We have a huge number of projects, initiatives, and models to develop multilingual spaces, especially in kindergarten and schools, employing the teachers with B or multilingual background, and also free German language courses by Employment Service for Migrants. But the most effective work <coughs> is given by cultural clubs and communities. By using the universal language of together work, they are developing social environment that allows space for different lifestyles, customs, and traditions in order to present them through public concerts, performances, celebrations, and lectures. As a legal framework in the public culture, this kind of collaborations and presentations make multicultural practice possible and promotes knowledge, tolerance, and respect. Vienna is also one of the most important uh, cities of, uh, seats of international organizations. It is next to New York and Geneva, the third headquarters of the Secretariat of United Nations. So the, my third gift, simple gift of time, will be a uh, kind of contents of this lecture. Now it is important to mention that the gift in German language means poison. So according to that translation, we can understand the gifts of time also in the context of its not attractive attributes as foreign, dangerous, exotic, unlike, present. A present of the presence in absence of donors. A present of not invited guests. A present from migrant. By sharing these gifts here at ICD in Berlin, the city without walls, I would start my, le my lecture with some questions which relate to representation as important instrument in the diplomacy, especially in the practice of cultural diplomacy, where the representations by one for many ones change to presentation by many ones in one. So the first question, what gifts of cultures do we share in contemporary society? Second, how do we unify our values and present them as common and intellectual, uh, intercultural? Third question, how do we use public diplomacy as a conducting instrument for cultural diplomacy in international relations? And the fourth, and how can we use the practice of cultural diplomacy to cultivate our plural self as a feeling of belonging to multiple? In order to give some answers to these questions, I will use examples from my concept Vienna Meets, which was developed during the last 10 years um, of my col collaborations with various institutions, communities, groups of artists. So Vienna Meets is a working concept for planning, organization, and realization of lecture performances, panel discussions, and social events with intention to enhance social cultural understanding within the multicultural society in Vienna and to conduct a dialogue between international and national communities, international and national institutions. Vienna Meets comprises a diverse group of young and senior academics, students, artists, and professionals from di different scientific backgrounds, interests, positions, and skills in the context of academic exchanges within the art space to open more platforms and meeting points for mutual verbal and nonverbal communication. I'm referring to the first question now, which was what gifts of cultures do we share in the contemporary society? Within uh, the context of our work, we define culture as a performance of self in society, which includes the different uses of habitual values and the way how we share them with others, being conscious that we act through the cultural categories as race, class, gender, nation, ethnicity, tradition, or belief, which influence the construction of prejudice and stereotypes and inequalities by right and choice. Our intention is to develop an in this discursive practice to overcome the intersectional interaction of those categories by exchanging of the self-reflexivity. In the creative work, to overcome the mass identity of being migrant or Croat or Austrian among the others and present us as authors by our works. We develop collective identities in academically and artistically constructed, deconstructed and reconstructed realities built from sources of our observations, experiences and researches on perceived social reality. We share gifts of our cultures and values in the terms of language capital, education, and knowledge to present the actual topics and new developments in the science, media, art, education, music, and other fields 
to put more focus on actual interests and needs of the new generation. So my second question, how do we unify values and present them as intercultural? We share the culture of peace in a positive, dynamic, participatory process where dialogue is encouraged and conflicts are solved in a spirit of mutual understanding and cooperation by understanding the global problems and developing skills to resolve conflicts and struggle for justice non-violently, living by international standards of human rights and equity, appreciate cultural diversity and respect the earth and each other. So the third question, how we use public diplomacy as conducting instrument for cultural diplomacy in international relations. In our collaboration with embassies, Federal Ministry of Education and Arts and other political institutions which are supporting our projects, we create events and projects to discuss actual political questions and present them through public communications, media, and through cooperation with a wide range of non-governmental entities like cooperation, educational institute, institutions, religious organizations, ethnic groups, including influ influential individuals for the purpose of influence of public attitudes on the formation and execu execution of foreign policies, on the cultivation by governments of public opinion and to build networks and initiate interactions of communities, institutions and other groups to support the process of intercultural communication. Also, mostly by Twitter and Facebook and YouTube and so on. Our presentations are mostly created as lecture performances. They refer to bringing together the, uh, the dramaturgy and pedagogy in the context of lectures. This can be approached as a drama and dramatic theories and techniques and can be utilized to faci facilitate effective social and intellectual engagement with the topic. To give some practice examples, I need to introduce shortly two main communities which work with this concept and they see themselves as the pioneers of intercultural diplomacy in Vienna. So the DITRAM was founded in 2008 in Vienna, Austria, as an intercultural association of academicians with the aim of organizing cultural and artistic projects and events in the area of cinema, theater, music, literature, applied arts, as well as architecture. The main idea behind the concept is creation of a platform which people would communicate with each other through the means of music, film, theater, dance, poetry, architecture, and applied and visual <coughs> arts. I see, I repeat. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Lining is at the moment the only intercultural student union in Vienna which seeks to unite more than six different student unions and NGOs from state and private colleges and universities in Austria, Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia, Montenegro and Macedonia. The student union strives to fight for the protection of the rights of students and to represent their interest in the countries mentioned above, <coughs> but also to take part in other activities of a wider social importance, to promote to tolerance, democratic values, and to support positive reforms in all social areas. This includes a whole range of activities directed to a higher quality and reform of educational and examination system, better studying condition, also special discounters for students, etc. etc. <laughs> Both communities are supported by the City of Vienna, Municipal Department for Intercultural Affairs, and Federal Ministry of Education and Arts, among other institutions and private sponsors. So here are now some examples from our collaboration. Uh, on the 26th and 27th of November 2007, we presented the first collaboration with the Foreign Cultural Institute and our first lecture performance, Kalman Exil, which was developed with artist group Three Dots and in cooperation with the association Edition Exil, Institut Francais de Vienne, and with Max Reinhardt Seminar School for Acting in Vienna. From academical research about exile, artists presented their work as a collage from visual art, dance, lecture, and vernissage, named as a tribute to the French painter Marie Laurencin, whose images, texts, and letters inspired them. A reading was prepared with famous French feminist writer and author Benoit Grohl, a godchild from uh, Laurencin. Miss Grohl also gave a reading lecture from her book La Touche in French and German. 
And it was the first visit by Bernard Grohl in Vienna. We brought them to Vienna. So on the 22nd of June 2010, we held a performance college titled uh, More, Mare, Mare, Maresia, a sea of languages in the river flow of sounds. In the votive church in Vienna and under the patronage of the embassy of the Republic of Croatia. This event was conceived as an encounter and exchange of musical artists from Croatia, Italy, Spain, Portugal, and Austria, and offered the public the opportunity to explore the traditional music heritage of the various Mediterranean countries in new form of contemporary music. This event was created in cooperation with the embassy of the Republic of Croatia. The next project, Vienna Meets, that I would like to introduce to today was organized under the patronage from the Embassy of the Republic of Cyprus and in cooperation with three other embassies, Sweden, Croatia, and Spain. The topic was the journey, north-south. Embassies expressed their wishes to exchange touristic information with embassies of countries which they usually don't exchange as priority matter. So Vienna Meets created a concept and artistical frame at the Time Gallery of the 23rd of November 2009. Some artists located in Vienna were suggested by embassies from their home countries to introduce their works to the same topic. It was I interesting to observe how they act together by meeting each other for the first time at this place. We had music soloists from Cyprus and Sweden free exhibitions from Spanish, Swedish, and Cyprus artists, dance performed by Croatian dancer and installation with Austrian artists. At this event, we could show how cultural diplomacy can be used as instruments to create meeting public space for international relations, because we were asked to create this space from uh, several embassies. And my first question uh, was, how can we use the practice of cultural diplomacy to cultivate our plural self-identity as a feeling of belonging to multiple self? The one in many ones is a work term used to describe a feeling of belonging to multiple in the term of intercultural identity as the identity of the plural self that develops in a social context and in the sense of feeling of belonging to many by interests, values, and practices. Plurality has become the ev evident basis of contemporary civilizations, acknowledging the other in one's own self, which is the basis for respecting the other and for developing development of tolerant attitude towards others that we share our living space but who are different from us. So I would also like to introduce two more events as uh, uh, examples of uh, our work on cultivating of the plural self-identity. On the 8th of uh, December 2009, Vienna Meets and Dittram community collaborated with uh, religious communities in order to present a lecture performance on interreligious dialogue to the spiritual symbolic of the light in contemporary <coughs> art, Luce. Dancers from USA, Ethiopia, India, and Austria located in Vienna performed together on five under the zero in the votive church. Our intention was to share our personal and traditional understanding of spiritual symbols and to invite different religious communities and representatives to share their impressions and thoughts. Under the patronage of the parish of the Votive Church and the pastor Dr. Joseph Faruja, uh, as he said, we brought the frozen air to melt. So we collaborate frequently with Votive Church, which is today a church of Roman Catholics and several foreign language communities but also as Cosmopolitan, uh, Cosmopolitan's God's House for cultural events, musicals, international chorals, Sufi dancers, and many others. A pastoral is emphasized in the votive church in the care of foreign visitors, and Dr. Faruja is Minister for Pastoral Care and Tourism. After this collaboration, we continue to meet each other in order to share uh, our individual impressions and beliefs by expressions through art, and we learn to understand and to appreciate different ethics and aesthetics which are universal in the total freedom and in accordance with the European Convention on Human Rights. So the last project I want to introduce you uh, was held on the 28th of November 2011 and was organized 
uh, Baditiram community in collaboration with Institute for Slavic Studies in Vienna, with Alto Giorno Dance from Italy and under the patronage from Embassy of Bosnia and Herzegovina in the banquet hall of 9th Vienna district, Alzergrund. Uh, Pioggia is not Kisha, is not Regen. Pioggia is in Italian not the same as Kisha in Croatian and does not resemble its translation in German. So inspired by ideas of Austrian philosopher Ludwig Wittgenstein, the borders of my language are the borders of my world, artists presented their works in a world without walls and boundaries by moving through sounds and shapes of different languages. The limits which are available for emotional liability of certain terms in one language and its associated imagery are broken and moved here. In multilingual dialogue of verbal or nonverbal communication and variations in the sounds and shapes, they replaced their imaginations and discovered new ones. Interacting with lecture of Melissa Slipets, dancers moved across the borders, walls and words, and they found themselves in duet, understanding the rain by exploring its different sound and movement shapes. The study or just exploration of other languages can assist us in understanding the diversity in our way of constructing and organizing knowledge and the many different realities in which we all live and interact. Our projects, events and lecture performances are mostly focused on contemporary art, to show and to share something what is produced at the present time or point. By moving the boundaries between time and space, art and life, between people and cultures. So playing in between, we create new spaces, transversal, across, and however. So the migration as a movement could also be understood as a transitory necessity. <coughs> to move out the chains of being one, of the many ones, and to become many ones in one. We are real diplomats of intercultural society. Integration means for us to take or to create participatory opportunities to be actors, designers, and fellows of social life. We are interested to learn about our differences. We appreciate the values of the whole society and we learn from diplomats the sensitivity for differences and the soft power of attraction by sharing our cultural gifts. But as long as we have obstacles in our hearts and our minds, we still need intercultural education and representation. But better it is cultural rather than only political. In the practice of cultural diplomacy as a gift of time, we create and open spaces for international meetings to conduct relations <coughs> sorry, into relationships by sharing the good tastes of the gifts of differences. So now I'm closing my lecture and this presentation with some words without walls. Thank you and welcome to Vienna. Thank you.